The ethinyl radical, systematically named lambda 3 ethyne and hydridocarbon C C, is an organic compound with the chemical formula CCH, also written CCH or C2H. It is a simple molecule that does not occur naturally on Earth but is abundant in the interstellar medium. It was first observed by electron spin resonance isolated in a solid argon matrix at liquid helium temperatures in 1963 by Cochrane and co-workers at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory. It was first observed in the gas phase by Tucker and co-workers in November 1973 toward the Orion Nebula, using the NRAO 11 m radio telescope. It has since been detected in a large variety of interstellar environments, including dense molecular clouds, Bach globules, star-forming regions, the shells around carbon-rich evolved stars, and even in other galaxies. Astronomical importance observations of C2H can yield a large number of insights into the chemical and physical conditions where it is located. First, the relative abundance of ethanol is an indication of the carbon richness of its environment, as opposed to oxygen, which provides an important destruction mechanism. Since there is typically insufficient quantities of C2H along a line of sight to make emission or absorption lines optically thick, derived column densities can be relatively accurate, as opposed to more common molecules like CO, NO, and O. Observations of multiple rotational transitions of C2H can result in estimates of the local density and temperature. Observations of the deuterated molecule, C2D, can test and extend fractionation theories, which explain the enhanced abundance of deuterated molecules in the interstellar medium. One of the important indirect uses for observations of the ethinyl radical is the determination of acetylene abundances. Acetylene, C2H2, does not have a dipole moment, and therefore pure rotational transitions typically occurring in the microwave region of the spectrum are too weak to be observable. Since acetylene provides a dominant formation pathway to ethinyl, observations of the product can yield estimates of the unobservable acetylene. Observations of C2H in star-forming regions frequently exhibit shell structures, which implies that it is quickly converted to more complex molecules in the densest regions of a molecular cloud. C2H can therefore be used to study the initial conditions at the onset of massive star formation in dense cores. Finally, high spectral resolution observations of Zeeman splitting in C2H can give information about the magnetic fields in dense clouds, which can augment similar observations that are more commonly done in the simpler cyanide, CN. Formation and destruction The formation and destruction mechanisms of the ethinyl radical vary widely with its environment. The mechanisms listed below represent the current as of 2008, understanding, but other formation and destruction pathways may be possible, or even dominant, in certain situations. Formation in the laboratory, C2H can be made via photolysis of acetylene, C2H2, or C2HCF3, or in a glow discharge of a mixture of acetylene and helium. In the envelopes of carbon-rich evolved stars, acetylene is created in the thermal equilibrium in the stellar photosphere. Ethinyl is created as a photodissociation product of the acetylene that is ejected via strong stellar winds into the outer envelope of these stars. In the cold, dense cores of molecular clouds prior to star formation, where n greater than 104 cm minus 3 and t. The neutral neutral reaction of propanilidine C3H and atomic oxygen also produces ethinyl and carbon monoxide, CO, though this is typically not a dominant formation mechanism. The dominant creation reactions are listed below. C2H3 plus plus E minus C2H plus H plus H C2H3 plus plus E minus C2H plus H2 CH3 CCH plus plus E minus C2H plus CH3 C3H plus OC2H plus CO Destruction The destruction of ethinyl is dominantly through neutral-neutral reactions with O2, producing carbon monoxide and formal, HCO, or with atomic nitrogen, producing atomic hydrogen and C2N. Ion-neutral reactions can also play a role in the destruction of ethinyl, through reactions with HCO plus and H3 plus. The dominant destruction reactions are listed below. C2H plus O2HCO plus CO C2H plus NC2N plus H 
C2H plus HCO plus C2H2 plus plus CO C2H plus H3 plus C2H2 plus plus H2 Method of observation The ethynyl radical is observed in the microwave portion of the spectrum via pure rotational transitions. In its ground electronic and vibrational state, the nuclei are collinear, and the molecule has a permanent dipole moment estimated to be mu display style mu 0.8 dubai 2.7 times 10 minus 30 cool m the ground vibrational and electronic vibronic state exhibits a simple rigid rotor type rotational spectrum however each rotational state exhibits fine and hyperfine structure due to the spin orbit and electron nucleus interactions respectively the ground rotational state is split into two hyperfine states, and the higher rotational states are each split into four hyperfine states. Selection rules prohibit all but six transitions between the ground and the first excited rotational state. Four of the six components were observed by Tucker et al. in 1974, the initial astronomical detection of ethynyl, and four years later, all six components were observed, which provided the final piece of evidence confirming the initial identification of the previously unassigned lines. Transitions between two adjacent higher-lying rotational states have 11 hyperfine components. The molecular constants of the ground vibronic state are tabulated below. Isotopologues Three isotopologues of the 12C12CH molecule have been observed in the interstellar medium. The change in molecular mass is associated with a shift in the energy levels and therefore the transition frequencies associated with the molecule. The molecular constants of the ground vibronic state, and the approximate transition frequency for the lowest five rotational transitions are given for each of the isotopologues in the table below. See also List of molecules in interstellar space References